Okay, so <clears throat> I'm off to have a sinner for dinner. So we're going to be cannibals at the church. We're inviting all the homeless and then we're going to have them for dinner. Nah, not really. <laughs> this sounds cannibalistic, but it's not. Really what's happening is we're inviting the sinners and um, that's non-Christians and we're basically giving them a free meal not having them as a free meal but giving them a free meal so yeah that's the that's what we're doing but um, the people who are running it called it sinner for dinner it's actually dinner with a sinner not sinner for dinner but yeah uh, sounds cannibalistic but it's not oh that wind it's all really blowy at the moment $2.39 for diesel, $1.79 for petrol. At the pump at the moment, at this shell. Their prices are a little dearer than others, but their fuel goes further, so it's not that bad. You just gotta make sure they choose they charge you for the fuel. Because I've had times where I thought they charged me for the fuel, but they didn't. So yeah, sinner for dinner. And my music's dropped out again. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Oh, go. Don't break on me, go. Um I've got pretzel rocks on my phone and it's weird you know I pull it out it works beautifully I put it back in my pocket it doesn't work it works for a while and stops why but it's still running there's just no sound I'm like huh looking into someone else's thing or something I don't know it's weird I'm gonna go up that gutter and go down there but people are walking their dogs I'm going ultra ultra slow for some reason let's pick it up a little I think this corner here is where I damaged that wheel. Where I damaged the wheel because there's a hole in the bitumen here. Right on the corner. So it's possible. I don't know though, but it's possible that I um, damaged that wheel there by hitting that hole thing. I want the music playing and playing loud so that people who are in front of me know I'm there. I don't know why it keeps stopping.
I think it's turning off in my pocket. Because um, now when I type a message, it tells me what the keys are, what letters I'm typing. It voices that. I'm like other people don't, I don't want other people knowing what I'm typing. <laughs> you know, like disabled help or something, I don't know. But anyway. This is 100% stream safe music. Free. Don't even pay anything for it. Oh yeah. Well, I'm not paying anything for it. If you want rock, this um, pretzel, just go down in the description. Like when you see my title, go down and you'll see description. The links are in there. So hit it and um, it'll take you to pretzel. Download it, log in and you're good. Totally free, no... Um, no spyware, no any other way. It's like electric mower and electric river snipper. And they go still to get their orange. Orange is white still. Dylan got a big piece of wood in his tire, in his um, 73 tire. Well, not even sharp or anything, but it went through his tire. Bad.
feels really good, you know. It feels awesome. Hopefully that's not too high for you. I'm pedaling so I don't need to lean forward. But I probably will because it's a comfortable position. I got um, my blinkers on the back of my helmet, so that seems to be working really good. I can hear it, people can see it. Yeah, good height. And I don't have to keep taking it on and putting it off and taking it off, putting it on and taking it off, putting it on. Just leave it on the helmet. And there's some safety pins and safety pin up there. That people can't do, do anything with it. The only problem then is when I've got to take it off to charge it. So, that's an issue. Right. You liking the music? There's plenty of others. Plan to do Uber tomorrow. So hopefully it'll be like today tomorrow and we can get some good good Ubering in. Looks like it might be a little bit hotter, I don't know. I'm going around the corner, so it's alright. Since the tyres have been put up hard, the bike's actually faster and using less engine and less energy. So, if you've got an e-bike and it's using a bit of energy, then it's getting difficult. Pump your tyres up beyond hard. Super, super hard, you know? If you can put your palm the heel of your hand on the top of the tyre and push down and have bounce it's too soft it's got to be the same as putting the heel of your hand on a rock and pushing down on a rock so it's got to be seriously hard Cool when I get the 360 camera. It's gonna be so good.
tout là après. Church is finishing up. It's a bit late, isn't it?
stop it. I am the bread of life. If you have lived in a war zone, I live in Sierra Leone, and those who have watched Black Diamond, you could see what we went through. Bread is a very essential food. So for Jesus Christ to take himself and tell us that he is the bread of life, it means he is an essential part of our lives. We are reading from the book of John, chapter 6, from verses 22 to 59. If you do not believe, all that the Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me, I will never cast out. But I have come down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I should lose nothing of all that he has given me, but raise it up on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who looks on the Son and believes in him should have eternal life, and I will raise him up on the last day. So the Jews grumbled about him, because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. They said, Is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How does, how does he now say, I have come down from heaven? Jesus answered them, Do not grumble among yourselves. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him, and I will raise him up on the last day. It is written in the prophets, and they will all be taught by God. Everyone who has heard and learned from the Father comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except he who is from God. He has seen the Father. Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your fathers ate the manna in the wilderness and they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven so that one may eat of it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. And the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. The Jews then disputed among themselves, saying, how can this man give us his flesh to eat? So Jesus said to them, truly, truly, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whoever feeds on my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever feeds on my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me, and I in him. As the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so whoever feeds on me, he also will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven, not like the bread the fathers ate and died. Whoever feeds on this bread will live forever. Jesus said these things in the synagogue as he taught at Capernaum. Our God is God who forgives our sins and iniquities and accepts us and puts us into his bosom. So if you receive Jesus Christ, you receive his forgiveness. <clears throat> The Easter for exchange your unrighteous life for his righteousness. You are a sinner. You remember the woman who was caught in adultery, who was saying to Jesus Christ and said, The Moses law says, When somebody does it, we should stone her. Jesus Christ bowed down and said, Writing on the ground, lifted her up and said, Any of you who have not sinned should first cast the first stone. And what happened? The people fled. So Jesus take our unrighteousness and make me righteous. The book of Ecclesiastes says there is no righteous man without a sin. Through Christ Jesus, there is redemption. The A stands for allow him having all areas in your life. If you allow Jesus Christ to be the bread of your life, because he is our sustainer, everything in your life, let Jesus Christ have access to it. 
You can't live without him. And they did stand for decide to follow where he leads you. Do you allow Jesus Christ to be the central state of your life? Do you take every decision to him in prayer? Do you allow Jesus Christ? Can you move a step without him? When Jephthah, after being kicked out by his brothers, and then they were at war, and they went for him, and the brothers called him and said, Jephthah, we want you to lead us to war, and when you win, we will make you Lord over rest. He was kicked out because his mother was a prostitute. He did not say to them, yes, I got you. When I become a king, I will deal with you. Jephthah didn't do that. After talking to them, he said, let me take to my God in Mizpah. He didn't give them an answer. After saying that, he said, oh, okay, if you say that, I accept, but let me take it to my God in Mizpah. If you allow God, now if you allow God to lead you, everything that you will be doing in your life, you will commit it to him and you seek his divine directions. Is Jesus Christ at the bread of your life? Do you trust and obey? Trials of this world will come. The world that we live in will be better. The songwriter says, turn your eyes upon Jesus and see his glorious face. And everything in the world will turn dim. If Jesus Christ is the bread of your life, everything in this world, you turn your back on the world. The pressures of this world can never take you because you have Jesus Christ as a bread of life. 